I'm not sure what's happening to me. It was September 1st when I learned that Jimmy Buffett had passed away. September is when summer gives way to the beginning of the fall season in northern Michigan, where I live. During the warmer months, I really enjoyed listening to Jimmy. While I'm out on my kayak fishing, I'll play his music from my iPhone. But years ago, when I had a boat, I constantly had his music playing while drifting on anchor, reading a book, sipping a beer or some other tropical cocktail, and smoking a cigar. It was a ritual. It's been over six months since his passing, and for some reason, I cannot bear the thought of listening to his music. It's hard to put my finger on it. What's causing this pause within my soul? Many years ago, a good friend of mine grabbed some concert tickets to go see Jimmy. Being well aware of what the definition of a parrot head was, we all wore our favorite tropical island clothing and headed to the show. Once seated, we waited for Mr. Buffett to take the stage, and he did so by running from backstage right up to the microphone, and he greeted us. Thousands of us parrot heads in colorful clothing, crazy hats, and goofy glasses. My friend and I were in good company, but Jimmy, however, was wearing a nice pair of khaki slacks, a salmon-colored dress shirt, and a nice pair of brown leather nautical shoes. I thought, boy, we're overdressed. Once the band started playing and Jimmy started singing, for all intents and purposes, we were somewhere in the Caribbean. It was mid-January in Pontiac, Michigan, but in our hearts, our minds, and our souls, we were on a boat somewhere, adrift in the blue waters while dolphins swam around us. <laughs> it, it was magic. But the music, it, it felt like it was never going to end. Time stood still as we sang about cheeseburgers and volcanoes and pirates and boat drinks. We sang right along with Jimmy. It felt like it was never going to end. September 1st, that's when it ended. For me, that was the day the music died. How can I move forward from this? I'm literally tearing up as I'm telling you this. Jimmy Buffett was never really a big commercial success. Radio stations hardly ever played his music in the early days. They didn't know what genre to put him in. Was he country? Was he rock and roll? Was he pop? Well, he didn't need to be a commercial success. He amassed a following simply by performing and creating a state of mind that to this day, no other band was able to accomplish. He was one of a kind. If you stumbled upon his music, it grabbed you. You didn't need to be sold by radio airplay. He never had a gimmick. He had stories and he told them with musical accompaniment. He took us to places we may never see, yet somehow we were there. We could smell the beer and the pine sole from the dingy bars. We could feel the ocean spray on our faces and feel the melancholy from the lover who left us. Maybe that's what it is, the melancholy. In my wildest dreams, I never imagined he would leave us.